UNLV police encourage students to use the police call boxes around campus if they see anything suspicious going on or to download the Rebel Safe app. Reporting for UNLV Studio G, I'm Brianna Faberger. It's safe to say Summerlin is a growing community with landmarks like City National Arena, downtown Summerlin, and soon to be the Las Vegas ballpark. If you're looking for a ghoulish good time, then come down to Halloween Town Pumpkin Patch, located on Sunset and the 215. It's not just for kids, it's for couples looking to carve that perfect pumpkin for your date night. There's rides to enjoy, and I'm actually about to go hop on a ride myself. So for Studio G, I'm Brianna Fairberger. As campus crime rates rise at UNLV, students are demanding for more security measures. Over the past weekend, a male student was pistol whipped in the head after being robbed at gunpoint in parking lot F following a car theft earlier that morning. UNLV police are working with Metro Police Department investigating both cases they believe to be the same man involved. In the past two weeks, both the UNLV campus and homes in the Summerlin area have been the target of racial vandalism. The crime enhancement in uh, Nevada is that there has to be a victim that um, the crime is committed towards because of their gender, race, religion, or any other identifying uh, criteria. According to Detective Velez, these incidents can be classified as somebody being affected by the crime or their property. It doesn't have to be a person, it can just be vandalism. The criminal act has to be done because of one of those contributing factors. That's what makes it a hate crime. Metro Police are currently working in an open investigation with the community for any leads. It affects me tremendously. As a kid, I went to Heber Academy, which is now the Adelson School. And as a child, that school often got vandalized. So that's why they put the fence around it now, because they were having so many anti-Semitic um, attacks there. Las Vegas residents are worried now that homes are being targeted for anti-Semitic vandalism. The house that got vandalized was in the neighborhood right next to mine. So I feel like once again, there's an attack in my safe place, which is my home. For the last 36 years, the Las Vegas 51s have resided at Cashman Field. The baseball team is eagerly waiting for their new updated stadium to be built in downtown Summerlin. The decision to move came after continuous issues with players and staff complaining about stadium conditions, such as bullpens, outside batting cages, and rundown equipment. For local residents, pumpkin patches are what they look forward to most in October. Halloween Town Pumpkin Patch is a crowd pleaser that offers games, inflatable slides, jump houses, and thousands of pumpkins for all shapes and sizes. 